What's up, beautiful jellyfish? It's Tracy. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch my video. Today we're going to be talking about Eldritch Moon cards. We're going to be talking about green cards in the set. Cards that I think are really awesome. Um, I think that green is really, really solid. I'm a huge fan of it. I think that it's probably like the best color that are white, I think, in the set. Overall, just looking at it like without, you know, me playing um, the set yet, I do think that it seems really sweet. Um, so yeah, I think overall, like looking at all the colors, I think white um, white, green, and red are like the top, my top three colors in the set. I think that they're really good. I think for me it would probably go like white, green, red, black, and then blue. I think that's like the order of, of what I think is best to, uh, or like strongest to like not as strong. Uh, let me know what you guys think though. Let me know what you guys think are like, are gonna be like good colors. It's so hard to say, like we haven't played the set yet. We're just looking at it like, hmm, this card looks okay. So let's talk about green cards. The first card I want to talk to you guys about is Ishkana Graph Widow. Um, I know this card was getting like a lot of people talking. It's the green, mythic in the set, and it's really, really strong. So basically, it's a 3-5 reach for a 5 mana. And then casually, if you have Delirium, you just get three one twos. <sighs> That's nuts. That's just absolutely nuts. This is an insane, like, uh, top deck card and then target opponent loses one life for each spider you control so um i think that this, there's going to be a really solid kind of like spider tribal like kind of theme going in like black green i think it's a really interesting color combination definitely pack one pick oneable super super solid card um i think it's just going to be one of the best cards in the set it looks really really awesome Okay, then we have um uvenwald observer so this card is Good, I like it. It's six mana for a six six, and then whenever a creature you control with toughness four or greater dies, you just get to draw a card. So even if like you don't really have that many creatures with power with toughness four or greater, even if like this dies, you get to draw a card. It's like some card advantage. It's got a really big body. So overall, I think this card is really strong. I like it. Um, okay, my internet's going. Oh, well, that's that. There we go. Um, okay, then we have um, Spirit of the Hunt. So. This card's sweet. So it's three mana for a three three with flash. Okay, ambush viper. I love it. And then on top of that, when it ETBs, each other creature that's a wolf or a werewolf gets plus three plus zero. Um, don't underestimate how good having like a lot of toughness can be. If someone goes to like kill your thing or whatever, and then you're just like mm, make it bigger. Um. Overall, I think for that wolf, wolf, werewolf, tribal deck, I think this card's a really, really solid card. Um, I think it's just a really good addition, even if you don't really have that much of that going on. The fact that it's a 3 mana 3 through flash, it's an ambush viper. I love it. I think it's super good. Okay, and then we have Eldridge Evolution. So, this is like, um, what's that card that people play in EDH? It's green. And it's like what this card does, and it's bothering me. It's not food chain. Food chain is discard. It's survival of the fittest. Is that the one? Um, this is like survival of the fittest, like stapled onto a sorcery, basically. So um, you get to sack a creature, and this could actually like be really good because you get to sack a creature, and then you just you know get something to your graveyard. It's a on delirium, things like that. Um, or if it has like a die cost, there's a couple of things like that. Um, a card that we'll actually talk about in a little bit too, that gets land. Um, and then you just search your library for a creature card with mana cost X or less, whatever, and then you just put it on the battlefield. This card's nuts. This card's just absolutely nuts. You get to shuffle through your deck, you get to like find out, uh, you get to find something that you want. I think if you are playing this card though, I think that you need to be really very like conscious of your CMC and like what cards you have so that you make sure you get like the card that you need like have have the like, cards in mind that you're like okay I'll probably get this one or something like that um people keep talking about this card and like if they're going to use it in modern and stuff like that who knows but overall I think this card is really really nuts oh not not that birthing pod why did I say survival if it is birthing pod that's what I meant to say um yeah that card's really good I like it I'm excited Okay, then we have um, Shrill Howl Howler. So it's a three mana, three one, and creatures with power less than it can't block it. Okay, that's good, I like it. And then on top of that, you get to transform it for six mana. And then it casually just turns into a three five. And then when it deals combat damage, you get to put a three two on the field. 
card's really solid, I think. It's a lot of mana, like, I think that with a lot of these cards, a lot of the transform costs and things like that are a lot of mana, but it makes it super good for the late game when you don't have a lot of things to do with your mana. It's a very versatile card, which I think is really good, so overall I think this card is a pretty solid uncommon in the set. Not one of the best, but I do think it's good. Then we have Tangle Claw Werewolf. Okay, this card is nuts. This is one of the best uncommon, a uh, uh, gr green uncommons in the set. So, it can block an additional creature each combat. Sweet, I like it. For 7 mana, you get to transform it, and then you're left with a 4-6 with Vigilance. It must be blocked if able, and it can block an additional creature each combat. Overall, card is just really, really nuts. I think it's really solid. Does a lot of things. I like it. Then we have Hamlet Captain. Makes me excited because there's Hamlet in name, and that's one of my favorite Shakespeare plays, so that's really awesome. Okay, I'm a nerd, I understand. Okay. So basically, this card's nuts. Whenever it attacks or blocks, other humans get plus one, plus one to one to turn, and on top of that, it's a two mana, two, two. Overall, super good, really good in that human, probably like I said, human, like werewolf, like type of deck. I think it's just really good. Um, and it's whenever it attacks, it doesn't have to do combat damage or anything. There's a lot of like whenever this creature attacks, there's a bunch of really awesome stuff like that in the set. So this card's super sweet. Then we have Somber Walled Stag. Okay, so first off, it ETBs and you just get to fight something. Sounds good to me. Get to kill something. And then after he does that, you're just left with a 4 3. Yeah, I, I like it. Green, a lot of times, is a really difficult way of removing creatures. So, fight is like that mechanic that makes it so that green can kill creatures, and so I think that this card is really good. It's staple on top of, of top of a creature, which I really, really like. I talked recently on like my channel about like creatures who act as removal, like creatures who also do things that not only just attack and block. I do think that this card is sweet. Yeah, gonna be a solid draft card. Speaking of fight, then we have Clear Shot. Um, definitely one of the, um, after you have like your creatures in the deck, definitely one of the instants um, those other cards, aside from creatures, that you're going to want to look out for if you're in green. Um, clear Shot's super strong. So not only does something at plus one, plus one, which isn't, like, that good, you just get to have, it deals damage equal to its power to target a creature you don't control. So it's just, like, a kill removal spell. <laughs> like, yeah, absolutely sounds good. Definitely one, a really, really solid green card that you're going to want to look out for. Then we have Noose Constrictor. I remember seeing this card and I was like, this card's nuts. So... First off, it's two mana for a 2-2 with reach. I love it. Beautiful. On top of that, you get to discard a card and it gets plus one, plus one, which is really awesome. So, like, you can do this at any time. You do instant speed whenever you want. So, like, if your opponent's like, uh, okay, cool, I don't know how many card times they're gonna, you know, just you can discard as many cards as you want. Super good for delirium, super good for madness. Um, overall, just a really solid card. I like it a lot. Okay, then we have Narwood Dryad. This is one of my all-time favorite green cards in the set. It's a 1 mana 1-1 one, one death touch. I'm a sucker for cards like this. I absolutely love cards like this. It's those 1 mana 1-1s, one, but they're really good. Um, and usually 1 mana 1-1s, one, not the best thing, but this is a really good, good card. Because if you have Delirium, it just casually gets plus 2, plus 2. So it's fine. It's just a 1 mana 3-3 three, three with death touch. Don't worry about it. There's nothing to see here. Oh my gosh, this card is sweet. I'm super excited for it. Okay, then we have Backwoods Survivalist. Okay, so, you know what, even if you don't have Delirium, it's a 4 mana 4-3. Nice body, I like it. And then it gets plus one plus one and trample if you have Delirium. I think it's going to be, I, I think I said this in another video, I think it's going to be really easy, I think it's going to be easier to get Delirium in the set. I think there's a lot more discard outlets. So I think that getting Delirium is, is going to be a much better time. I think it's a really solid common definitely one of the best green comments in the set. I like it. Okay, then we have Swift Spinner. Here we go with the Ambush Vipers. I'm just, just Ambush Vipers all day every day. Like if I could just build like an Ambush Viper deck, that would be like the type of deck that I would play. I run Snapcaster Mage, the card's nuts. Oh my gosh, I haven't played Modern in so long. Man, I miss my Snapcaster Mages. I just got the feels right now. Just got hit in the, hit in the chest right there. A little sad. Okay, um, Ambush Vipers all day, every day. It's a 4 mana, 2, 3, Flash, and Reach. It's nuts. It's a common... Uh, so good. I love it. Okay, then we have Primal Droid. Okay, the card that we were talking about earlier. There is no mana fixing in this set, except for this card. 
So there's no Evolving Wilds, there's no Terramorphic Expanse. They could use the Terramorphic Expanse reprint with some new art because the art is awful. But the Evolving Wilds has so much pretty art, we need like new Terramorphic Expanse art because I'm so sick of it. Um, this card is super solid. This art is actually really beautiful. Oh, it's Teresa. Oh, I thought it said Teresa Nielsen. I got so excited. I love her art. She's one of my favorites. Um, this is a super good card. It's a two mana zero three. So it's kind of sort of got like defender kind of sorta. Um, and when it dies, you just get to search your library for basic land and you put on the battlefield tapped. Overall, card is really good. Only mana fixing in this set. So if you're in green, this is definitely a card you want to look out for. Also, it's at the common level. So there's probably going to be a bunch of them floating around. Card is really solid. Then we have Waxing Moon. So, okay, this card is nuts. Like, even if you just don't have the werewolf thing going on, all of your things just get trampled for two mana. This card's insane. Oh my goodness, I'm so, so, so excited for this card. I think it's just sweet. Oh my gosh, this card's nuts. This is making me so stoked for green because I, I I like green a lot. It's like, it's become one of my favorite EDH colors. It's become like my favorite EDH color. And so I'm like, this is, I'm just looking at this card and I'm like, you know, it's fine casually for two mana. I don't even care if you're playing werewolves or not. You just creatures you control get trample. Yeah, definitely a combat trick that you want to watch out for if you're playing against green. Card's nuts. Okay, then we have Woodland Patrol. Um, okay, it's, it's a you know, three mana, three two Vigilance. It's nothing fancy, but it's a really, really solid card. I like this card a lot. Yeah, nothing really to say about it, but it's good. Okay, and then we have um, Kessig Prowler, which transforms into Sinius Predator. Uh, one mana, two ones. They're good. I like it. I'm a fan. And then for five mana, you get to transform it. And then it becomes a four, four that can't be blocked by more than one creature. This card's sweet. I like it a lot. Just the, the fact that it's a one mana two one, like it's just nuts and then the other ability, oh, I love it. Okay, then we have Prey Upon. Um, speaking of fighting and creature removal and things like that, here you go. Definitely a card that you wanna look out for. I just, looking at this green is just nuts. It's a one mana basically kill spell a lot of times because you get to have something fight. Someone commented, I'm on Mythic Spoiler, and someone commented, I'm going to collect these so I can tear them up and put them in pizza, pasta, in drinks, soups, and whatever else needs a little extra flavor. <laughs> That's nuts. That's really funny. Yeah, that card's really sweet. Uh, yeah, guys, that was it. That was it for green cards that I think are awesome from the set. Let me know what you guys think, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.